So it would seem that Dave Allen is going to fight Tony Yoka, France's unbeaten Olympic gold medalist from Rio at super heavyweight. Uh, Dave Allen is someone who has been talking about building himself up as a prospect in his own right or a contender in his own right. And I think that's the reason that he turned down the Dubois fight ultimately, because I believe he was offered a Dubois fight, right? Or was it the, the was it the Dubois fight? Or was it the Joe Joyce fight? I forget now. You guys correct me. Was he offered Dubois or was he offered Joe Joyce? I know he's been talking about both fights. I think it might have been a Joyce fight that he turned down. Or was it Dubois? I can't remember. But either way, he's been talking about building himself up as a prospect in his own right. If there's a choice here between fighting Daniel Dubois or fighting Tony Yoka, if I was advising or managing uh, Dave Allen, I would tell him to go for the Daniel Dubois fight rather than the Tony Yoka fight. Dubois is far more green than Yoka. Yes, he appears to have more power, but I don't think he's technically as good as Yoka. He hasn't been in the kind of situations yoka has been in. yoka has been in tough fights, very tough fights in the amateurs. Tony Yoka was a top-level amateur for years and years and years. He hasn't just fought Joe Joyce in the Olympic final. He also fought Joseph Parker, right, <laughs> in the amateurs. Tony yoka has been around forever. So he knows how to handle himself in a boxing ring. And although I don't necessarily expect him to stop, Dave Allen I just don't see Dave Allen winning the fight I, I do not see it I think Tony Oka is far too experienced I think he's far too technically good I think he's in shape I, I don't see Dave Allen winning the fight at all I think even against Daniel Dubois Dave Allen would be an underdog but I give him more of a chance because Dubois is green he isn't as mentally proven as somebody like a Tony Oka you know, his his mental fortitude hasn't been tested the way Yoka's definitely has. And Yoka has passed that test with flying colours. We don't know where Daniel Dubois is going to be at after a couple of rounds if you can't take a guy out. And, you know, the Rhino has landed some overhand rights on him. So, well, there's, there's, there's a result of a poll apparently by the Edit King. 58% of people picking Dave Allen to beat Tony Yoka. Uh, I definitely have to respectfully disagree with the results of that poll. I mean, yeah, I'm sure they're mostly Dave Allen followers and big up the Dave Allen followers, but I, I can't see him beating Tony Yoka, man. And if there is any way that he could have made the Dubois fight, I think that was a better fight for him. And yeah, that's all I'll say about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Dave Allen versus Tony Yoka. Do you give him a better chance than me? Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think this is a, a more winnable fight for him than the Dubois fight. I, I don't. I really don't. I think Dubois is very green. And people are going to look at the physicality of Dubois. The fact he's knocking people over and he looks like this big, powerful, intimidating guy. But he hasn't passed the tests mentally. He hasn't been in with the top opposition, either as an amateur or a pro, that a Tony Yoka has been in with and beaten. So, yeah, let me know how you feel, people. It's happening, I'm out.